Hello, welcome to the Fun and I'm going to teach you how to make a liquid filling machine because I'm five thousand naira. This um some pipe supplies, T joint, uh so electric dispenser and pipe. This is about 0 0.5 centimeter pipe. So I'm gonna cut the so connect it to the T joint using a hot glue gun then I'm gonna connect a smaller pipe like 2.5 centimeter width diameter pipe into there and this I'm gonna use a heat gun to really hold it in place then I added um, a T-joint kind of connector I'm sorry I didn't know these things before I just had the concept went to the plumber and the plumber Give me heads up. I added another tip joint facing the um, opposite direction. That's where the pipe is going to pass through. So I cut um, a little bit of that pipe, put it above it. I got like the smaller pipes, three. They are going to like connect like a branch. I needed that like to create a branch feel. This little pipe came with the filling machine, the dispenser. So it's going to pass through the connection. So I took small pipes like heat it up a bit that way they can enter the smaller T joints. The guy I got it from at the plumber store said they were called T joints. But if you need the full well of the tutorial, tell me I'm gonna be uploading it on YouTube. I'm gonna explain um all the things better. But if you're a plumber in the house, please help us. So this is how it came out. Uh, yeah, my husband started helping me. I was filming him because we needed close up. So this little pipe came with the machine. They always come with the machine. So we got this funnel, this tiny funnel, and we cut it. So we cut it. And we pass the pipe through it. So the pipe that comes with the dispenser has one bigger side. We pass the smaller side and voila, it fits. We now use um, a heat gun to connect it to that smaller T joint. Then we took um, the funnel. This is going to be the mouth that fills. So we took the funnel, put in um, heat gun, um, wax. We need it to be airproof like if it's airproof then you you won't have leakage we put a lot of heat gun wax there and pressed it so we're gonna repeat that this is going to be the nozzle where your fluid comes out from in the whole machine so we did the second one so this is a two nozzle machine um I don't know if I mentioned it earlier. I don't know these things. I just did, and it just came to me. And I started asking questions. Basically, went to the plumber store and was asking, "Do you have this?" First, my husband has taught me that when I have ideas, I should draw them out. It's easier to communicate to him, and he had he helped me a lot because we're usually very busy you guys know i manage nigeria and china it's not easy at all so this is like 2 a.m in the night so we usually walk um up late in our career so this is two nozzles and we were just fitting it making sure it's airtight the wax leaves a little bit things like thread so you know finishing it we weren't really um doing a big finish we just wanted everybody to see that it's easy to do uh it's not like a very 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 hard like it, we didn't spend more than five thousand building this machine and it's very very efficient so it's important to wait a little bit when you put your heat gun to make sure that it cools down and holds that but heat guns are, are very 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 affordable so after um they are completely cooled down then you go over to connecting where the fluid will come in from this the we use a total of three funnels two nozzles and then one where the i will call this the filling chamber where the um, fluid comes out from enters and distributes to the 
um, nozzles where the fluid will come out from so here is also quite important making sure that it's very 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 airtight so we put the um, hot the glue gun wax and put the funnel upside down there just like we did in the other ones then we put the heat gun at the edge of the funnel so where the pipe passed through now we took the um, ending of the whole body of what we were constructing and put it on a flat um, um, board we put it on a flat board like a little square flat board and this basically at this point is just the machine we turned it on I don't know if you people know this machine it's for your um, water dispenser manual small mini water dispenser so at first when we tried it it was a fail we didn't have all this thing worked out from scratch it was a fail the other one wasn't coming at them so i couldn't i didn't get the video so just one that was rushing out of the two so we had to pull um, that part apart again and put the chamber the filling chamber in the middle and reconnect it so when we reconnect it we noticed that the fluid was able to distribute to the both parts of the funnel as you can see the other side wasn't coming out before that's the right hand side so the two parts were coming out and at first it started out slow but it came out very 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 fast it was filling with speed we tried it with tubes the because of how tiny the funnels are so you can tell the water pumps out through yeah, it works for oil. This can work for your liquid oil, your liquid soap, anything. So let's show you guys. I don't know if you can see. This is the pipe. We had to raise it from the floor for you to see. This is the hose. It's sucking water. Like our table is so messy because it's so fast and the jars we use for the experiment is um, small. God bless you. Thank you for fully Nigeria.